Welcome to the video guys. We got an exciting one for you today. First, we're gonna get our green thumbs going. You know it. We got some plants right here. I've got my topsoil. We're gonna tear down this nasty looking copperhead cage. Take a look at that, Mary. That just looks like a dirty jungle in there. So we're gonna take some of this stuff out. I'm gonna add a little layer of topsoil. I've got some smaller plants that won't get as tall. Put them in there, see if he likes it. We hope you enjoy the video. We're gonna be checking out Parrotsville. We're gonna be driving some RC cars again towards the end. And oh, a new reptile I can't wait to show you. Wow, so he is really blue. I can't wait to show you guys. He's not gonna be happy. Come here, little skipper. Do you know how many times I just wanna reach in and grab it? Cause I don't know, it's just a weird feeling. Come here, little skipper. Okay, what am I caught on? Here we go. Now that's the only problem with having a realistic cage, isn't it? Is you've got a lot of stuff in the way for when you're trying to pull your snake out. And there he is. Take a look at how blue this thing is. Let him turn around. Oh man, don't strike him now. So this little guy will be shedding for us soon. You want me to get him in, Mary? You getting nervous yet? <laughs> Here we go. You're okay. You're okay. Let's just say I'm thankful I'm not working with mambas, right? He's actually pretty docile when he's in blue. I thought he'd be way crazier. Got him in the tub. Let's check out that time lapse of us pimping this ride. And here is the final product. We got a little bit of foliage back there. Got our water dish I gotta fill up, some rocks, some you know logs and stuff that can kind of climb on. Not that they're super arboreal, but uh, pretty sweet. I don't know, I think it looks a little better. Kind of looks like where you'd find a copperhead, a little swampy or maybe next to a riverbed or something. So we're gonna get the glass doors back on here, get him back in, let him shed, do his thing, and that's it. All right, so let's put this little cranky bugger back. What an amazing animal though. I love this thing, man, it's so sweet. Silent, but deadly. So we're just gonna go back in there. Oh yeah, what's that? Your new digs. You just waiting for him to flip around and bite you in the face, no, I'm just kidding. It's actually pretty docile. I'm gonna try and work with this thing. I don't wanna rush him back in the cage. You know, I think it's an old crutch field trick. You just want to barely handle them, be easy, never restrain them. You just kind of let them glide back in there, not to sound too cheesy, but sweet. Let's get this closed up. Always going to use our snake hooks to close it. I know some of these big heavy hitter guys that uh, are YouTubers that are free handling stuff, they probably look at me and laugh, but I'm just, I'm a little bit of a wuss. What can I say? So I said we got a new animal. I know what you guys are thinking though. I did get a haircut. It's a quarantine haircut. What do you guys think? Bald, tall, and handsome. I know Mary likes it. We were over at my buddy Ryan's house. He's like, let me shave your head. Let me cut your hair. Let me cut your hair. And then he went to shave it. The guard wasn't on. That's for another story though. It feels really good. But let's talk about the new reptile we got. Excuse the mess and the sideways 40 gallon over here. We're battling heat pads. And Trying to get this thermostat to work, but it hasn't uh, went off or beeped, has it, Mary? So we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's check this guy out. Hopefully a guy. I'm not too sure what it's end up gonna be, but all I'm gonna say about this species is the males look a little cooler. And am I taking all your light away, Mary? Are you gonna be able to see it? Um, Yeah, I think so. All right, well, let me at least pull them out and I'll show you under the light over here. 
I feel like job of the hut. I'm a little bit overweight and I'm gonna tell this guy, you're eventually gonna have to learn to love me. This is the cutest little lizard in the world, a green basculus. So the males get that really cool kind of hump on the back, uh, back of their head and on their back. The females will stay a little bit flat, but a very beautiful green, a very beautiful blue color. I just, he hates me right now. And any lizard this size, well, I shouldn't say this size, any baby lizard or small reptile is gonna be really aggressive towards you, in my opinion, just because it thinks, you know, instinctually you're trying to eat it. But we're not gonna eat this guy, I promise. Uh, we're just gonna out. love him. Look it's so tongue. weird, isn't it? I'm so sorry, you little cutie. But a really cool little lizard. Dude, manager special. I picked this up for like 30 bucks. Couldn't say no. I had an extra 40 gallon. So we'll set him <laughs> up. But uh, he's doing really good. Doing really good. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll keep you updated on how he's doing. We're going to get him back in the cage. Spray him down. Let him relax a little bit now. We won't mess with him too much. But as soon as you hold him, you know, he's, he's usually okay. I'm not restraining him. But he definitely isn't happy. Whew, I'm sweating bullets down here. Even with my hair shade, we don't have central AC, so just try and be easy in the comments, you know, about being fat and sweaty. Thanks. Getting the birds trimmed up. They're looking good. This place is so cool. They're pretty empty right now, which is good. These guys are awesome. They adopt out a lot of birds. This is Parrotsville here in Michigan. Oh, hi. this guy so cool oh wow little dolphins just like uh peaches are you a old little bird would not want to take a bite by him but a really cool bird trying to focus now, the gentleman that was here was telling me the locality is the reason that his beak is so long. But uh, a really cool bird nonetheless. What else we got in here? Oh, sweet. A little Amazon parrot. African gray up here. This place is so cool, you guys. You have to support this place if you live in Michigan because it is awesome. Sorry you can't hear me. I've got my mask on. Look at these little conures. They're so cool. I want a little Kanye so bad. Hi. Oh, that's peaches. Bitch. So cool. Look at the colors of these birds. Aren't they incredible? Just a little update on my brother Savannah cat. This thing's doing so good. Look at him just crushing some salmon. I like to give him a little bit every now and then. My brother's out of town, so I'm taking care of this little cat. But he'll be back tomorrow, so I just like to spoil it when my uh, brother's out of town. But look at the size of this thing. She's getting so much bigger. She's doing really good.
That's too cute. Not allowed to do that. <laughs> you are a crazy little cat. So that's my Traxxas Slash right there. I put a brushless motor in there. We put a 3S uh, lithium battery. It's ridiculous, guys. It is so effing fast. Literally can't even control it in the grass. It just drifts. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like on concrete. I'm really excited, so just a little RC update. It's total. Yeah, you ever heard of the movie Tokyo Sliders? It literally can't even get traction. Look at those little donuts. <laughs> oh my god, ow! That was insane! That was insane! <laughs> It's so fast, Cody. Barry's popping a wheelie going by. He did. That truck's nice, but what do you think of that car? Wow. Yeah, she's good. And this is where we're gonna end the video. Thank you everyone so much for watching. We hope you're staying safe out there. Stay insane. The world's going crazy right now. All our prayers and wishes go out to everyone affected by this. We love you guys and we will catch you in the next video.